Hey, I'm Bill Jenneru, and I am an uh, associate professor of digital media and computer technology at Kansas State University at Salina. And I'm also proud to be um, from a small town. I grew up in a small town. That John Mellencamp song, that could be about me. I, I, I was born in a small town, and I, I uh, raised my kids in a small town. In fact, we live in the same small town that my dad grew up in and his dad grew up in, so there's really a neat legacy there. I drive 70 miles to, to go to work just so we can live where we've got some roots and, and have, my kids can have that small town experience. Um, and, and I'm really excited about what, what the internet has done for the small town. When I was a kid, I couldn't wait to get out of there. That was the first thing I wanted to do. I want to see the world, you know. So I went in the Navy and did, did that for like six years, but then um, came came back to what was home, you know. I could have had my pick of anywhere in the country that I wanted to live and I, I, w I wanted to come back home. That was, it was just that important to me. Um, but there, yeah, there's so many opportunities for what kids can do uh, from, from small towns. Uh, when I say the name Lucas Kreukshank, any of, any of you familiar with, if you've heard of him before, just say, say something, give me a shout. Nobody knows Lucas Kreukshank? How about on YouTube, do you know, Hey, it's Fred! You know Fred? Small town, Nebraska. He's from Columbus, Nebraska, I believe. His, his school is in a cornfield. You give a kid a digital video camera, he's got some editing software, he's got an internet connection, and he decides to start an acting career. The kid's got his own made-for-TV movie. It's, a, it's out on DVD all through YouTube and in a small town because of internet. It's amazing what kids can do, but there's a thing called the digital native. How many of you are familiar with the, the digital native? There's this conception that all kids can do these digital skills, you know. We, we just let them figure it out on their own. They're, gonna, they, they, they're natives, right? They can all do it on their own. And I think that's just, it's just kind of a myth. Not everybody is a, a Lucas Kreukshank. Okay, he, he was motivated to figure it out and he really wanted to do it, but most kids, they're just like any other kid and they need to be led by adults that are, are caring and concerned for their well-being and, and show them what's important in life. And so, um, I'm trying to teach my kids the digital media skills that they need to be successful. Um, so many of these talks that I've heard today just really resonated with me, you know? Um, like. Jeff was talking about how kids don't go outside and play anymore, and um, they're, they're, I think in a small town, maybe that's not quite so much the case, at least with my kids, you know. My, my son, one of the coolest things I just did for him, uh, just a week ago or so, you took two green bean cans, put the string in it, made him a pair of stilts, and he was running home after that bus every day to go walk, walk on those stilts, you know. It, just simple things like that. Um, I was reading the other day, just the other day, uh, about science, technology, engineering, and math, the STEM fields, and I, I was just blown away by the statistic. Maybe you've heard this one. Over the past decade, 70% of, of college students, there's a 70, been a 70% decline in science, technology, engineering, and math over the last decade. I, bought a, I brought a group of students from K-State at Salina here, and they, they are in the STEM field, and they're to be commended because you, you stuck to a, a field that's, that's in decline, but it's, it's very much needed. And I think that's part of what's, what's wrong with our economy today, is there's all kinds of this technology work that needs done, and not enough people that know how to do it. And, and we've got to do something to, to turn that around. And my personal approach, um, like with the, the tin can toys, or I, uh, we, we get the watercolors out and we paint and we color, we do that kind of stuff at home. I want to turn STEM into STEAM. I want to put an A in there and the A stands for art. And we made a, a digital media degree at K-State that does that. We, we blend the technology and the art together and, and in the end you get a student that know something about both things and they're, it's, it's really unique. It's, it's really amazing when you can blend these skills together. I just wanted to, to run through a, 
very quickly, a few things that you can do to teach digital media skills. Um, the first thing that I did with my kids was set up a blog, okay? This was like when they were kindergarten, first graders, little bitty kids, six, seven years old. You, if you've got kids at home and you're, they're not doing blogging at school, do it at home. And there's, there's a, a cool challenge. It just started last week. It's uh, the studentchallenge.edublogs.org. Go check that website out because for, it's a 10-week challenge and it's, it's out of Australia of all places. And, and there's a teacher there and she gives e weekly challenges for the kids to do and they learn things like netiquette and how to be safe online and how to build a digital um, legacy that they can be proud of. Because okay. I think what we, the digital footprint that we put out there is just as much as important as the resumes that they put out or the, even the diplomas that, that they get from the college. Um, they, we, have to, we have to show them, and I think parents need to sit down with their kids and learn the stuff that they're doing online to get, learn together or show them new things that they haven't thought about. We need to play with our kids more. Um, and like what Cody was saying, teach them how to drive. Too many parents are letting their kids drive alone. The, the parents think the teachers and the schools are teaching this stuff, and the schools think the parents are handling it, and the kids are just doing it all by themselves. In fact, when I, I heard Kevin Honeycutt last year talking about who is going to teach our kids to build a digital legacy they can be proud of, I went home with my son and we made a YouTube video of him doing just that. I'm laying on the couch. He comes in and says, hey, Dad, can I have the keys? He's six years old. He says, sure, here you go. He goes out, he starts the car up and drives it off, you know. And, and it looks like he's really driving the car. But I'm teaching video literacy to the kid. I'm like, did you really drive the car? No. Do you look like it? Yeah. You can do things in video. You can do things in technology. You can edit things. And, and, you can, and these kids are learning how uh, you, have to, you have to take things with a grain of salt when you see it. You can't just trust it at face value, can you? Um, another thing that I, I like to suggest that you can do is uh, teach your kids programming. I, I know, you're all uh, skilled at programming in here, right? Yes. Okay. If you're not, parents, parents know programming. They know basic programming logic. If you don't clean up your room, you don't get ice cream, right? It's an if-then statement, right? That's, that's, that's basic programming. You can do that. Okay, so go to alice.org. It's a free download, and it's a virtual world. You can get ninjas and Alice in Wonderland and cowboys and astronauts and all these things, and it's all just drag and drop, and the if-then commands are all drag and drop. You can't mess it up. You don't have to know the syntax. You just have to know the logic that goes. You bring the... So instead of if, clean your, if you don't clean up your room, you don't get ice cream, it's... If you get too close to my ninja, he's going to give you one of those. He's going to. Okay, you program that in Alice, and the kid. I mean, if they do it wrong, then the ninja doesn't. Ha! Ah! And he just stands there, you know. Or you tell him to to spin, and he starts doing somersaults. So Alice.org. You go to edublogs. Uh, studentchallenge.edublogs.org and and sign up for these weekly challenges, and and I think that you'll go a long way to raise more digital media literate kids. All right, thank you.